Phyllis Bunn was just a teenager when World War II began. By her 18th birthday, the war was at its peak and she decided to serve in any way she could. I lost an uncle the day I joined up and he was on his last tour and he was to come home. My grandmother got the, the telegram that he was shot down over Germany. While the battle against the Axis waged on many fronts, Bunn served as a photographer for the Royal Canadian Air Force. They kind of choose for you when you joined up back then. I went in and filled all the papers out and then they said, uh, how would you like to be a photographer? And I have never given it a thought. So I said, well, I can try it. So I went in as a photographer. Bun captured ceremonies, landscapes overseas, and was even on board with fighter pilots capturing the action from above. I was flying in the Ensigns and Bowling Brooks with bombardiers and gunners and that was to take their score. Decades later, the Toronto native still has memories that continue to haunt her. We used to go into Port Dover to dance and uh, on Saturday nights, and the two Australian students, they, we were dancing with them, and then they had to leave to go on night flying. And I was back in my room at about 1.30 in the morning. I got a call to bring my equipment and go out, catch the fire department and pick me up and took me out to the scene. And the pilot and the two students were killed. I had to take all that. That I didn't, that made me sick to my stomach. Today, the 93-year-old resides in Acton and hopes that history won't repeat itself. Every time I'm in it, I hope there's not another war. Like it's the young ones, like you, you was all like yourself. People all killing on them all around. I don't like that. Reporting from Acton, for Halton News, I'm Hayden Narine.